Welcome to my Wednesday shave. A very happy Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. H. I may think, oh, that's different. Hydrangea. <clears throat> the reason it's here is after this, it's to bless this bathroom for now, and then it's going out to be planted in the garden. So, display first and then planted after. So, welcome to the shave. Midweek, we're halfway through it. I hope you're having a good week in yourselves, firstly, your health and uh, your work, whatever, your lives. And uh, secondly, then the shaves, of course. So we're going to use something I've not used for a while. This is a Italian, gorgeous, good soap, um, Abate Alamantea, and this is called Batero. Batero. I have used it before, I think. Um, le Italian leather. Um, it's absolutely. If you can see, can you see the base there? Italian leather, beautiful scent. Um, Saponified with saffron and wheat germ oil. I think that's meant to be quite good for the skin, the wheat germ oil. Um, and these soaps are made by Chung Fung Sing um, for this company, and they're a family owned company. Now, you'll see I've had this a while. That's the colour of it originally, once you start digging below this crust, because when it's at a certain age, they start to do this, and some people think, oh, what's wrong with that? Throw it away. No, 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 nothing wrong with it. You could lather that, nothing wrong with it. But the scent, it's, uh, how can I say, it's, they're very delicate scents, not, it's not um, powerful like in your face, you know, it's a beautiful sort of high-end, as you'd expect a high-quality soap to smell. It's subtle, it's leather, it's not imperial leather, it's like a, well, it must be like an Italian leather. It's a light, beautiful scent. And there's something behind it. It's like, a, it contains saffron. It's very expensive, that. Um, it's quite a, like a sweet scent. Like, a, I don't know if it's a fruit or a... It's not citrus. It must be like a sweet, but sweetness to it. And this sort of leather, subtle leather scent. A really high-end type of thing. Um, so I've got some of that in the Captain's Choice. Um, we're going to use one of my favourites. This is an old, it's not an old, an old name, isn't it? It's um, Edwin Jagger, DE89, plain and simple. This is the, I was kindly sent this. I've got the lined version on the handle, but I always wanted the polished handle. And someone said, I've got one, you can have it. And they kindly sent it to me uh, a few years back now. Um, Highly recommend this to anybody new to this way of shaving. It's good quality. Um, if you look after it, clean it, it'll last you for years. Very inexpensive for what it is, and it's British made, family, family owned, Edwin Jagger. So we're gonna use that. Blade is gonna be the Gillette Blue Blade, and this is its fourth use. Important to use blades as much as you can. Uh, that's another thing you'll learn as you do this way of shaving over the months and years is how long a blade will last and you might ask well how long does a blade last well how long is a piece of string it depends on your usage of it um, if you shave daily if you don't shave daily it'll last longer um, you'll feel it starting to tug or pull or things like that finished finished then or it's a dud blade but um, usually if it's shaved okay one or two times the average is three, I think, three shaves, and then it'll start to, but that may differ, your mileage may vary, obviously, that can differ between people. Uh, Captain's Choice brush, with the black coin in the base there, beautiful, love the colours on this, always, like looking into space, the synthetic knot, so we'll start lathering up, no time like the present, are you having a shave? That's the thing. Have you had a shave? Was it a good one? We hope so. And you might think, oh, you're clever now knowing these plants. I didn't know she said what it was. I've seen, seen them for years, but I wouldn't know what it was called. Hydrangea. Look at that. No messing. So we're at a foamy stage. And if we keep going, 
get all that soap into the brush it will start to turn into a beautiful cream yeah it's uh, if you've got the time if you're new to this this way of shaving and things and you know there's lots of videos out there now that when I started there was hardly any um, videos or anything like that uh, which was a shame but now there's so many it can be confusing because everybody's got different opinions different techniques different ideas and um, you know one person might say no do it this way and then you'll watch the next video and he'll say completely opposite and you're thinking what the what <laughs> but uh, the only way is your way and the only way you can do that is is to do it yourself really test different blades you'll notice by the feel of them what works for you look at this nice, nice cream and the same with lather try lathering things up you can take your time and try a thick creamy lather try a quick lather try a wetter lather and uh, again each one will work for you which may not necessarily work for someone else you know so don't uh, look at that it's beautiful isn't it so uh, most things I do work for me um, luckily they work for lots of other people but they may not necessarily work for everybody so it's important to note you know that um, whatever you do is just to, it may work for me you might think ooh that doesn't work for me and you may have to adjust this slightly to anyway stop going on let's get we need a shave don't we look at this let's get to Yeah. Right, midweek posh. <laughs> mm. Beautiful scent. Fresh. Very refreshing scent, yeah. Leather. Very subtle. With a sweetness to it, that's how I can describe it. But it smells very posh, as I'd say. Lovely. Yeah, so far, so good. Let's heat up the Edwin Jagger. It's such a simple razor that works. Uh, so much so, a lot of companies have copied it. Right, here we go. Well, the head of it, anyway. That's another thing, you know, you'll find that with razors, there's so many, although, you know, Gillette and people like that were the originals, weren't they? So many have copied them. Um, and then there's so many people do this type of head. People wonder then, oh, who did the original of that? And... Because as I say, the, a similar head to this is the Merca 34C. There is a difference, but uh, quite similar. Well, there's many razors similar to it now, but... Um, yeah, good slickness. As I say, this is a this soap's a few years old now. Oh 
you done anything interesting this week? Have you got any nice plans for the weekend coming? A colleague of mine is in um, he's in Greece at the minute. He's on holiday in Rhodes. Lovely. So here we go, cross the growth. So the blade is beautiful. Uh, there's no telling this is its fourth use. Very uh, smooth. It's a nice feeling, isn't it, when you're getting your money's worth sort of thing. Fourth use. Gillette Blue. Gillette Blue Blade. Beautiful. With it being a smooth handle, if you had soap on your hands, it would be slippy. But I notice if it's just water, I'm fine with it. Um, you just got to be careful that you rinse, if you have soapy hands, rinse regular because you don't have any razor to slip really. Simple at best sometimes. Simple at the best. That is lovely. Yeah, the slickness sort of builds up as we go. Mm, smell that. Oh, beautiful. Nice summer scent, actually. Nice summer scent. Abate Alamantea. This is lovely. Here we go. Can you growth already? So simple, is it? We made a noise. That is a nice blade. That is nice. It's cooled off a bit yesterday. Oh, it's a lovely breeze, but it's still. Yeah, I can hear the breeze, wind picking up, but it's uh, supposed to get hot again. So we'll see if they're right. Um, I noticed some, uh, there was talking, some people had gone on holiday to Spain from the, from the UK <laughs> and the week they were there it was hotter here, that's <laughs> typical.
It's that's beautiful. Beautiful um, slickness. Let's try something on here. Yeah. That's nice. You know what time it is now? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Nice. Look at that. Up time. Get a few of these stragglers. That's the sound you want. If you're having a shave, have you picked what you're going to use? Well, seagulls have. I get a lot of them now in land. Mind you, we're not far from the sea really. But How far are we from? About 20 miles away? From or no, less than that. 10, 15 miles, maybe. Just a turn. Right, we are going to keep the face wet because we're going to use the alum today. So cold water is. Oh, that's lovely. Let's try the hands. Use the green block. No sting at all. Wow. Normally you get a bit of a maybe a patch when I've overdone it. My fault, but uh <laughs> no, it's lovely. So we'll leave that to its thing for a minute. And now uh, we'll go over what we've used so far. So we've used the Edwin Jagger um chrome and it's a smooth handle three-piece non-adjustable razor with the Gillette blue blade and that's its fourth use it was smooth comfortable it'll probably go to five or six uses on that uh, maybe more I don't know but um, really good we've used the Abate Alimentea Batero uh, shave soap it's an Italian leather scent it's subtle it's high-end it smells this high-end as a high-end scent would be it's not overpowering it's just there um, lovely leathery scent with a sweet note to it is the simplest way uh, but it smells as I call it very posh uh, good slickness uh, good performance soap easy to lather and it can, it's still some peaks really nice use the captain's choice bowl and brush we've just rinsed off with some water alum and then we're going to rinse that off now and carry on Ranger. I've heard of the Lone Ranger. That's 
slowly. Okay, we clear. Got the blood and glade on. So that's what we look like. Very happy with that. So after shave, I'm gonna go with Imperial leather. And this was sent to me a few years back by a kind viewer from Australia, because it's available there. It was here. It was a British company, wasn't it? But uh, I don't know why. They sell the soap here, but not the aftershave. Funny how things turn out, isn't it? Oh, come on, that's beautiful. Nothing like the Italian leather, but that, I love it. Imperial leather. Oh, come on, get your snifters around there. Oh, he'd love this. I'm not sure my dad did use imperial leather. The original. Sure I had a red label on the bottle. Or was that just on the soap? Anyway, and they were quite big bars of soap, you know. I think they're much smaller now. And I don't think the the scent is the original. There's some difference there, but oh sorry, we're using Dove. What's it got? Dove Men Care Hydra Ultra Hydra Cream. They have all these big names. A little dab will do you. Still smell the leather centre, that's lovely. That's good. Right. And that is it. So I'll leave you to it. Um, thanks for joining me yet again for the midweek shave. That was a nice sort of midweek refreshing, quite a posh uh, shave for me. So I really enjoyed it. If you're having a shave, I hope you have a good one. Stay safe, healthy. Try and have a bit of fun if you can in life. And uh, I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. What we're using, I have no idea. Which is better sometimes, because they can be the best shaves, can't they? When they're not planned, sometimes. So all the best to you. Have a great rest of the week. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.